Okay, guys, so I already had an excursion earlier, the uh, local event, which is still going on. I can still hear the music. Maybe I'll go and stop there, but you know what, guys? I know you guys want more than that. You want me to go somewhere off of the block. So let's go on a little adventure right now. Gotta get like, a few things anyway, so we'll go out and grab them. I know a few of you kind of mentioned that you're not happy that you're seeing me smoke again on the vlog. I completely understand. I don't like to see it myself too. Well, at least with cigarettes. But uh, rest assured, I am definitely planning to put those butts out for good. Uh, kind of done with it. You know, obviously when you smoke, it does have some effects on you. And those effects have absolutely not been fun to deal with. So I'm kind of thinking, got my birthday coming up on what, like 10 days now, August 1st. I figure I'll celebrate that. Then there's like the Caravana weekend. Then we'll celebrate that as well. Then we'll come back and I'll say to you guys, finally, after all these years, this will be my last smoke for you guys. Because you guys have expressed the issue against it. And I know I can quit again if I really wanted to. So, why well, shouldn't I? Do that. So, I was walking out of a place I don't usually walk by. Rolls Ice Cream. Why well, is this place even open? I've been seeing this sign here for a while. Unit 31, it looks like it did. There's a Rolls ice cream here, just hidden amongst these uh, office buildings. I've actually not tried Rolls ice cream before, so that could be a future episode for us to do on uh, Fat Kid Tuesdays. Uh, I actually did enough walking earlier when I was at the event both times to count it as my daily cardio. But, I'm putting in a higher effort and getting rid of my stomach. I don't know, just editing in one of the last videos that like, made me realize. It's like, holy fuck. Although I know it's mainly the t-shirt because I know earlier in the day I was wearing a shirt that was like tighter on my chest. And yeah, you did see my belly, but how better my pecs looked in that wasn't the worst. But I want to look good in every shirt that I wear. I don't want to just have to be able to just have only certain things I can wear to look good. We're actually going to be passing a few places. Kind of iconic. The old channel, to a degree. It's my life, at least, it's for sure. That's definitely for sure. to make sure the space above my head people get in there. Yeah. Where I'm going is technically gonna take me two buses. But I saw the first bus is gonna take about nine minutes. So I was like I can stand still for nine minutes, do nothing. Usually I just have my headphones on and jump some tunes. Did not bring my headphones. Don't know why. Usually never forget them, but today I did. Um, so I'm going to uh, enjoy this. Nice little walk. Enjoy the weather. Get that extra cardio in. Weird thing, it's just like when I was at that event earlier, a lot of people were asking about my co host, and I was just like, oh, she's busy. Kind of confused. 
But it definitely it does sell me it's a sign that even my uh the people who actually know me who watch the stuff that are a fan of my co-hosts. Everyone's a fan of her. How could you not be? She's so fucking awesome. Like, if you are not a fan of Lady V, there's definitely something wrong with you. I don't know what it is. I don't care to take the time to figure it out, but definitely there is something wrong with you. If you ain't a fan of Lady V. I'm not a fan of anybody but myself. But I'm a fan of Lady V. So, that goes to show you. So, right here at this intersection, um, kind of the walk I've made is one I used to make every day for about seven years. Although I'm on the other side of the street, I'm at uh, somewhere where I used to work for a long time. It um, was a pretty decent place. It was a pretty decent place, I would say that. That was, spend a long time there. Being able to walk home, be able to walk to work, made the commute a lot easier, you know, when you only got to get up for like a seven, ten minute walk, it makes it a lot easier to get in every day, especially on those really cold days, and it's just like, yeah, I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want to work, but it was easy to do. Oh, wow, this is kind of interesting here. Um, this place, right to my right, it's completely gone too, that's kind of crazy. There was an iconic bar named Taps, and there was an Indian radio station and a few other villages. Been around here forever, but my entire childhood, they were here. It was technically growing up one of the best places to get wings. Um, actually, the last day of working at that place where I work, for seven years, um, I'd gone there for lunch. We'd done it a few times, birthday things and whatnot, but yeah, one on my last day, I remember coming into work with a buzz. I couldn't stop laughing. Uh, I had like two or three beers on my own. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> um, but yeah, and right there you go. As well, I used to always go for lunch. One place is still there, Lucky Wings. Then there was the other like fusion Asian place that had like both Chinese, Vietnamese, and Korean places, which I actually really did love. Cause like they had this whole thing where they had the stamp card thing. So if you buy the lunch special, a certain amount of times you got it for free. And like the people that worked there, since I was a regular, they would always let me know what to order. Like usually I would always go for rock and walk rice. But then they'll be like, oh, we recommend you go with the noodles today. Just letting me know what was fresh, which is actually pretty cool. Um, another place I used to go, I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, no, it's kind of hard to see. More on the inside, it was a pizza place. And this fragrance place is like literally a place I've used to get gifts for women, no matter what the scenario is. They always have a lot of cool stuff in there. And great prices big outlet place but now we're actually walking by the place where I used to work um I don't think I think my older brother works there now but he does a much higher job than I did I was just in the warehouse um this was oh, my coach um let me get a little closer put you guys in the rooms to see it I still can't see it hmm. figuring out the angle into these things is kind of a tricky but yeah um, okay you guys can kind of see it behind the trees it's not there anymore it's actually moved somewhere in Markham um, this place called Cadento this actually was the longest job I've ever had I've never worked anywhere as long as I did there <sighs> oh, my bus is coming now I don't need it anymore because I'm almost we're at the place where I connect to the next bus. Actually don't mind, I got about nine minutes of cardio. Don't mind at all.
yeah, this is gonna be the last summer that I won't be driving. Um, there was some kind of things I was dealing with that was keeping me from driving, but it's now something that I'll be working on and we'll be doing soon. Kind of necessarily where I am in my life. Technically long overdue, but yeah. Let's uh, I'll take a break and I'll pop back up when I'm at my next destination. <laughs> this is uh, crazy. It's still like this. Luckily, they still have my pair. They have James Ready, but wow, look at that. 